Welcome to Asset Logic, the video series where we're answering your questions. I'm Todd Smith and I'll be your host. Throughout this video series, we're going to cover things that we're experts in. So SEO, web design, web development, PPC, social media, photography, and videography. That's why we wanted to start Ask Lifted Logic to help serve out content to people who aren't just our clients. Because the more you guys know, the better decisions you can make. If you're getting ready to set up a Google account yourself, um, you're just going to like handle it yourself and not like outsource to an agency, what are a few things that you wish you had known ahead of time before you set up your first campaign? Um, let's save let's save everyone a little time <laughs> and a lot of stress. So a big mistake I usually see is how people, um, they, they don't tend to understand um, the nuances of Google ads and how your rank and your quality score and different things would affect your budget. We'll get into, and we'll get into all those, like what those specific yeah, are here. Yeah, keyword match types yep. as well. So they tend to do the broadest match type. Um, so say, for example, you're selling, you're selling sneakers. For them, they may think it's relevant to show up when someone searches shoes. So they're going to put literally shoes in broad terms, which means that could be paired with anything. It's any search that mentions shoes. So I could say like shitty shoes, ugly shoes, dumb shoes, yeah, un- or uncomfortable like shoes, unfashionable shoes. for shoes. the beach. Mm-hmm. Sneakers are not your shoes mm-hmm. for the beach. Um, just things like that where you're not thinking about what's actually relevant for the person you're searching for. So a lot of the times you end up spending a lot of money, um, whether that's individually per click or just like total volume because that's a Shoes is a big search. And they don't understand um, the difference between a campaign and an ad group. What is the difference? So a campaign is going to be like an overarching subject. So for Lifted Logic, for example, we have a campaign called Web Design. Okay. Um, and within that, we have different ad groups. So we have one that's called Web Design, and it runs ads for people searching web design. And we have another one called Website Designer. So that's going to be ads that are more for someone looking for like a person versus like a general website design. Mm -hmm. And then we have like different variations of that that's still ultimately relevant to find someone who's looking for web design. Um, But you need to structure it out very like it's almost annoying to do. So like people don't do it. But like, but it saves you money. You have to do it, yeah, because it gives you the most control over your account and, and it, your money. When you like hire a company or like someone who does this all the time, they're gonna know this kind of stuff and save you the money up front. If you don't know this kind of stuff or aren't thinking this way, you're gonna spend the money to Google and not catch it until month two or three or four, or even if you catch it at all. Feel free to hashtag AskLL on social media, and we'll get to them as quickly as we can. But keep in mind, there are no stupid questions, especially in the digital space.